Well, 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 the time has arrived. It's another episode of the live vlog, and in fact, according to my list here, the episode is all about realizing your potential. Your potential, guys, your inner capabilities, whatever you want to call it. What are you capable of doing on a daily basis? We're going to take a look shortly at the whiteboard here. Uh, before we dive in, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you are an avid reader, uh, I've recently published an ebook on Amazon. It is called Hope for the Youth, A Manual for Success. Uh, go and check it out. It's linked down below. It talks a little bit about life philosophy. talks a little bit about improving your mindset, improving your daily habits. Go and check it out, guys. It's really interesting, and I put a lot of effort into it. And I really do hope you like it. But for this episode, I want to take a look at your potential as a human being, right? Here on our great green ball we call Earth. Now, first thing we're going to look at is your potential, right? It depends essentially on three things. It depends on the effort you put in. It depends on if you transcend comfort zones. And it depends on listening and, well, listening to others, right? If you look at our first point, how much effort do you put in on a daily basis? Do you put in the time and the work necessary to make your dreams become a reality? If you think you can do better, then do better. If you think you're not doing enough, you know what? Sit down, reevaluate, and figure out another plan. But effort, my friends, is essential in any, any, any venture, in any area of life. Without effort, you're not going to see results right the two are so so interlinked and it's quite obvious right the more effort you put into something the more results you often obtain there are circumstances in which that's that's not going to happen and you know what you deal with them you deal with them and you move forward that's the first topic right secondly we're taking a look at comfort zones are you a person that is constantly saying no to new opportunities. He's constantly saying no to, 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 to new ways of doing things, to new adventures. If so, you're probably stuck in your comfort zone. And I've been there multiple times. I'm still there sometimes. It's just human to, to, to naturally stay where you feel comfortable. There's nothing wrong with that, guys. But if you want to come become an unforgettable person, if you want to reach that next... Man, this sounds irritating as hell. If you want to reach the next level of your life comfort zones aren't going to need to be eliminated right comfort zones they're a nice place to be but just as nice as they can be they're also one of the most toxic things you can have in your life if, you, if you're a person looking for success now should you be transcending if you are going beyond your comfort zones how does it make you feel do you feel happy? Do you feel energized? Do you feel like you've gotten a new lease on life? If so, great job. You've done the right thing. If not, sit back and reevaluate. Maybe you've jumped out of, of, the, out of the, the wrong comfort zone, if I can put it like that. It might sound silly. But perhaps you, perhaps you took a risk financially out of your comfort zone and it didn't work out. Right? In that case, you might have just, it might have been better to stay in your comfort zone. But when it comes to other things like social events, like, like um, your interactions with your colleagues, did you get out of your comfort zone then? Did you try getting out of your comfort zone? Right? So there's, there's different types of comfort zones. Some are better to stay in, some are better to get out. Right? So it's, it's a very delicate balance. But essentially, it all depends on how you feel. If you feel great and energized after breaking out of your comfort zone, you did the right thing. Moving on, do you listen to others? In other words, do you believe people's self-limiting beliefs about you? If someone say, or if someone tells me, you know, uh, you can't make YouTube videos, you'll never succeed on YouTube. You know what I tell them? I don't care. I don't care what you think. Because you know what? I'm doing this for me. And this is something that helps me to get out of my comfort zone. Because I've realized that um, by listening to others' self-limiting beliefs about yourself, you often, it often has a very, very harsh impact on your self-worth and on your self-belief and on your potential, ultimately. So, and there are also circumstances in which you should listen to others, right? If that's positive, if they're encouraging you, if they're saying, go for it, it's a good idea, of course you should evaluate, but that's just that more reason to keep on going. If people are behind you, you feel so much more... 
oh, how can I say this, so much more passionate about the new venture that, you, that you're going after, right? So, do you listen, yes or no, right? That is the question that you need to answer. So, this is a basic representation of what all the factors that influences your potential, guys. So, a lot to take in, a lot of confusing statements made, but essentially, it depends on three things. How much effort you put in, are you breaking out of your comfort zone, and how are you allowing others to influence you? Thank you so much for watching. This was episode, what was this? Episode, I believe, eight uh, or seven of the live vlog, but all about potential, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.